You want me to dig up a dead body when I have real people out there whose lives are in real danger? What did you say to him? Well, I told him to dig up the body. Isn't that what you wanted? What else did you say to him? Well, I, I told him that you were a leading authority on paranormal phenomena, and who were we to argue with an expert? Look, I am not an expert. I am a scientist who happens to have seen a lot. I am just making a leap here. Well, I'm sure you have your reasons. Look, so, so what, you, you told him to exhume the body when you don't even necessarily believe me yourself? That's impossible. Unless Tippett took the drug and succeeded. Unless his consciousness was there, but his body was somewhere else. The X found explanation. I take it this theory comes from Agent Scully? Agent Scully has yet to reach any conclusions, sir. That's the problem. I'm not hearing conclusions from either one of you. If this man has reached a higher plane, then explain to me why 22 people are dead, including two FBI agents. Now, I want to hear what you're going to do about it. If I'm working this case, I'd appreciate a heads up before you tell the deputy direct any more science fiction stories. I know that you covered for me. You didn't have to do that. Sorry. Agent Scully. Come on, Agent Doggett. Make a decision. Let's get out of here. We gotta find whoever it is who's still down here, Lieutenant. And what if we don't find him? Maybe it'll be us they find laying face down on the floor dead. Agent Scully knows what she's doing. Sir, the assistant director here deserves more credit than I. You didn't ask me to tell Mulder he's off the X-Files. It's his unit. He created it. I'm not asking you, John. You sent me to find Mulder. I found him. Don't charge me with driving a stake through his heart. Maybe you'd rather I close the X-Files. Then we'd both be getting what we want. Let's go, Agent Dagger. Now. Agent Mulder. Can I have a word with you? you? Give me a minute. I'm just getting filled in on the details of this investigation. Why don't you pull up a seat and introduce yourself, and Mr. Taylor won't have to repeat himself. Taylor, I was on deck watch the night this thing went down. Go on, Mr. Taylor. I'm to submit this report as quality investigative work as representative of actual fact. I signed the report there, sir. Yeah, I see it, John. And I see her signature here, too. On the next file, I'd like to know when you assigned yourself, Agent Reyes. Agent Doggett assigned me, sir. Agent Doggett cannot just assume the authority of this office. I assume it because this office is under investigation. Did Dr. Richmond display any knowledge of satanic lore or speak of demonic possession? No. He was perfectly cogent. He didn't suffer from those kinds of delusions. I'm not really asking about delusions. When you last spoke to him, did he seem himself? Seem himself. I mean, did he display a personality other than his own? Speak in tongues or in a language he didn't know? You're asking me if he was possessed? This is the 21st century, Miss Reyes. We stopped looking a long time ago for demons to explain mental illness. I'm not really talking about mental illness. 
It would help us to help you if you could tell us anything this man might have communicated to you. I wouldn't tell him anything. Not until they explain why all the hush-hush over this case, why the devil speak, the mincing words from Mr. Fulmer. Because I want answers myself.